I'm still in total disbelief that I just got to see GOT7 again. Again! <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. This is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Do Reactions. And today, I just wanted to talk to you about my experience going to see GOT7 in Toronto. Um, yes. I, as you guys know, as soon as I found out about this event, I was just like, I have the funds, I am doing this. I am going to Toronto, I'm getting a passport, I am flying out of this country so I can go see GOT7. And I did it. <laughs> I still keep grinning every time I think, just think about it because it's, it was wonderful. So it was actually just a fan meet. Um, it was not a concert. Um, I went to the concert when they did the fly tour in the US. I went to the Dallas stop. But this time it was just a fan meet, but that they still performed songs, they played games, they were general GOT7 wonderfulness. And yeah, so let's just actually rewind all the way to the beginning. I first found out about it that K-Pop Me was hosting it, and they were doing this VIP ticket presale purchasing um, before the main sale, so I actually managed to get in on that. I managed to get an email, I got a number. It was a little bit of a mess. Okay, no, it was a major mess. There were a lot of people that had a lot of issues. Um, I know that going through the presale process, I did manage to get into the VIP group, which I got a confirmation for that. And then I got a confirmation um, as to what tickets I wanted to purchase. But um, then there was a little bit of an issue in that since I'm, I was from the US and it's a Canada based company, um, obviously I could not pay through the bank. I had to pay through PayPal. Um, and it was very confusing because they didn't expressly outline the process and what you were going to step through in the process of getting these tickets. Um, so you kind of just kind of went through, stumbled through, and then yeah. That, that was a little bit of an issue in that um, at one point in time, after I had submitted the form as to what tickets that I wanted, I got an email saying, here is your number, what tickets do you want? And as soon as you decide, go ahead and send in your send in your payment to this email. Um, so that's what I did. I s replied back with what tickets I wanted. I sent in the payment. And then uh, a few days later, after the payment goes through, I find out that apparently we weren't supposed to send it in. There was another confirmation number that probably could have been avoided entirely if the email that we received give, that gave the confirmation number, our number in line, didn't have the pay now to this address. If that didn't exist, then there's no way that that could have happened. Um, but um, it is what it is. They are a new company and they are getting better and things definitely improved, but it was still rocky because after I did eventually get my tickets, they did have to get refunded at one point and then I got them back again. <laughs> um, and I, I did end up getting my tickets just fine. Um, they didn't mail and I didn't receive them in the mail even though I purchased them almost two months before I received them in the mail. Until two weeks before the concert, I was very nervous I wasn't gonna receive them in time because obviously if they came after I already left for Toronto, then I would be out of luck. But they did arrive about a week and a half before the actual event. So that ended up working out there too. Um, also, if you were part of VIP, you got access to the VIP merch. Um, which was a discounted merch package. Um, it came with a Agabong. It came with the, a Agabong bag, the GOT7 uh, fly fan, and a t-shirt as well. And so that was a nice little package. Um, so I ended up purchasing that, even though I already had an Agabong, but um, I decided to get, I, I wanted the whole package, so I just bought a new one. Plus I had, got a tiny scuff on my Agabong, so I just got a new one. Everything that went through K-pop me ended up working out just fine. It's just they were just a bit of a mess, and I don't think that there's a whole lot of them. Um, things can definitely improve, but they are definitely off to a good start. And while I would be cautious, depending on how they decide to run like a pre-sale again, um, I would still definitely recommend the company because at the actual events, the way that they ran the things that they had the major role in 
went really, really well. So I'm not gonna talk about my actual time in Toronto. I'm gonna just jump right into with the fan meet stuff. So, so I got there at 11.30, I had to wait in line to pick up the merch, um, but it turns out that I wasn't able to pick it up there, but I did still have to wait in that same line to get my wristbands. Um, so I got my wristbands, which are for, which were for the high touch and the, um, the high touch and the photo op. And so, cause I did have for both and I will have photos of that. Yes, I'm very excited. Um, by the time this goes up, I may have already have the photos. We will see. If not, I'll, I'll probably just be posting them on Twitter or we'll, we'll see. Um, but I was very excited, very, very excited to be there. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting <laughs> cause that's what I did. But they finally did let us in at around 2.30. I had to wait after waiting in my second line. And I got into a third line to actually pick up the merch. And then I got and went into the seat in Massey Hall. And I was in B17, so I was right at the front. I was on the left side, which is Jackson's side. <laughs> and fittingly, I was wearing Jackson socks. Jackson socks, yes. I have Jackson socks. You can judge me all that you want. I love Jackson. <laughs> um, but um, it, it was really, really an awesome show just in general between the performances and also just seeing them interact with each other. It's always great. I love GOT7 so much. Um, and they're just really, really funny guys. I will try to put in some clips from the show. I'll, I guess I'll put them in like right here. So the actual show was just really, really amazing overall. I just, I, I love the guys so much and they're so funny and so talented and just wonderful and it was great because I was really close to the front so I was able to get like right up close and I did at one point I got to touch Jackson oh I, I like that was like oh, like I knew that I was going to have the photo out with the high touch but it was like it's just that moment where it's just like wow that really just happened <laughs> um, but Jackson is I love Jackson. I love Jackson a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, so for the first show, I only had the photo op. So after the show, I sat there, I waited, I waited, because they did high touch first. I watched the high touch because they did it on the stage. So watched high touch, and then it was time for photo op. And so for photo op, I am all happy and wonderful, and in case you didn't know, I'll put my outfit that I wore here, okay? Um, so, photo op, we get up to the stage, blah, 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 and some girl was just like, can I switch? Mark's my bias. I'm just like, okay, go ahead. And that meant that I ended up smack between Mark and Jackson. <laughs> okay, so we're walking up, and like, I... Um, I am one of the, I'm extreme, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say I'm shy, but like, I, I don't know. I am, I am me. <laughs> and it was, I saw Jackson and I met eyes with Jackson again. And I just, there's something about him that I just love. And so when I first walked up, he like pointed at me and said like, banging. And I was just like, what and it kind of like didn't fully register in my head because i just kind of just blah, blah 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 i'm gonna sit down in between mark and jackson right now and then like as soon as i turned around the first person i saw was just mark right there and i was just like oh my gosh i saw you guys in dallas and he's just like oh really and i was just like yeah you guys were amazing and then he said something else which i can't remember because i blacked out because i swiveled over my head to the other side and Jackson's face was like right here. And I was just like, oh my God, oh my God. Like I couldn't even bring myself to say anything because Jackson's face was so close to mine <laughs> that I was like, I was so done, <laughs> so done. Um, but yeah, so when I left, I was just like, I, I'm, I'm gonna be back again. I will see you guys again later. And he's just, and Mark was like, okay. I was just like, oh gosh, what is, what is life? <laughs> but okay, so I ran off stage just in my little high of like, oh my God, I was just, I just had a mini conversation with Mark. Cause there were definitely, there was definitely something else. There was another slight exchange there, but I can't remember because I was just like, 
Oh my god, I'm talking to Mark. Cause like last time when I did the high touch in Dallas, I told Mark that I loved him and it got really, really awkward and he just kind of just smiled. So the fact that he was like talking to me, I kind of just kind of like zoned out. I was just like, oh my God, he's speaking. I have to respond. I have to actually use my mouth because I don't always use my mouth. I am, <gasps> okay. But so that was wonderful. And so then it was time for the second show. The time, like by the time I got out, like it was about like 6.15 or so. So I pretty much had to immediately get in line to go in for the eight o'clock show. And I was talking to another person because that's what I do. I talk to random people because usually for some reason I end up standing in lines next to other people who are going alone. So I just end up chatting with them. And so I chatted with this girl, um, she was from China and we were talking about Jackson a lot because Jackson, 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 Jackson. Jackson is my life officially. <laughs> but um, so we pretty much talked the whole time while we were in line. And then we went into the show and I have two wristbands. So I went to go do both high touch and the other, but I will get to that in a minute. I will talk about the actual show first. As you'll probably see, I don't have nearly as much footage because I was unlucky in that um, my second show ticket, I was in D14, which was the aisle seat in the fourth row, D. Um, but they said, they bumped up security like hardcore on the second show and anybody in, if you weren't in row A, B, or C, you can go up to the stage. So I was in D, which meant I was just out of luck and they were un unflinching despite the fact that on the side that I was on, the way that they broke up the tickets, there were only actually a couple of us in those seats, they still wouldn't let us go because it wasn't like the full row. I was on the edge and yeah it was really unfortunate because not only did I not get to go up to the stage despite being so close like I was literally across from row C on the other side um, of the main center so it was very sad especially since they stood there and they formed like a wall to block everybody from getting down which meant that I couldn't see got seven half the time because like they were literally blocking my view or, and obviously if they can't, I can't see them, they probably can't see me. So I was just like, this isn't, it wasn't quite as fun because I was literally getting blocked. There are like heads in my way. Like at one point there was this big, huge guy and I literally could not see around him. Like I couldn't see anything. So I just kind of just stared up at the screen. I'm just like, this sucks. <laughs> but, um, yeah, also the Massey Hall staff on that second show, while they decided to up the security, they were complete assholes. Um, they really were not good people at all. Like they were really rude and they were mocking GOT7 at times and they were like, like actually laughing at them. And like the way that they were talking to some of the people that were in the seats, like that were coming to see them, it was just really, really, really rude. Um, and it just, it didn't sit well with me and they were blocking me and they were just Massey Hall staff, they're assholes. So um, there's that. Um, K-pop me staff, not assholes from what I saw. Massey Hall staff, total assholes. Um, also, I heard that um, some girl also got like shoved by one of the security guards and got like hurt. And then like is like the sick the Massey Hall people are just like no that didn't happen so yeah I mean Massey Hall staff just not really they're not good people at least not in my book um, but I still didn't try to let that get me down because I was still getting to see GOT7 again and GOT7 is amazing and they're wonderful and fantastic um, and so I did have both high touch and photo op the second time around. So first I went for the high touch. So high touch, you just kind of, it went first again and it went up <clears throat> and pretty much <laughs> the way that this went down was, so up first it was, I think it was actually Jackson or was it Bam? I think it was Bam Bam first. I will put the order <clears throat> order up here, but 
Jackson was either first or second. And <laughs> Jack, no, Jackson was second because I think it was Bam Bam first and then Jackson was the second in line. So I, I, I touched Bam Bam. Nice, simple, nice, easy, done. Then I get to Jackson. Okay, so he was going through and like high touching everybody. High five, okay. I get to Jackson, he pulls his hand down. So like I couldn't like go to do the high touch right away. And like, I swear to God, everything like just happened in slow motion. Because this man locked me dead in the eyes, okay? Dead in the eyes. And he licked his lip in such a way that I felt like I needed a shower. Like it was that bad. Like. I, I, can't, I can't even replicate it because, well, mainly because I'm like too innocent to do that, but oh my gosh. Jackson licked his lips and was, then he, then he was like, hey. And I was like, ah, ah, Jackson. <laughs> like my insides died and then like, then, then it was, the high touch, like, like it was a nice little linger. It wasn't like, it wasn't like really like, like a full grasp or anything, but it was like, it was way slower than it needed to be. <laughs> and holy Jeebus, um, dear goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, I still am in complete shock. Like I was so shook by that, that he actually did that to me. And like dead in the eyes. Y'all, he's gorgeous. He's the most beautiful man I have ever seen in my life. I got hit on like three times that day, but seeing Jackson do that was honestly the best moment in my entire life. Like, he will forever be in my mind my boyfriend. Like, I don't have a boyfriend and he can be my boyfriend. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I was so shook that I, I went through the rest of the high touch, just nah, I, I managed to say happy birthday to yu -Gium, but the rest of it was just like, <laughs> it's all done. I looked at JB for like two seconds, like, oh, you're, you're really gorgeous, but right through because as soon as I was done, my heart was literally beating on my chest. I got back to my seat because I had to come back, sit down for the photo op and I was literally shaking. I could not hold my phone. I was shaking that much. Jackson complete me, completely had me shook. Oh my God. He licked his lips at me like not, no, no. It was so rude and so amazing and my life is like over now. Nothing will ever be better. Um, but yeah, so that happened. Then I had the second photo op and I was trying to get by Jackson, but I couldn't. But when I did walk up to walk past Jackson, he like pointed at me again. And it was just like, he said something, but I'm terrible at reading lips. And yeah, but so I go and I end up sitting next to Bam Bam. And oh my God, Bam Bam. So first when I'm walking up there, like, like you can hear them talking and I heard him say, I get the pretty one. And I was like, what? In the back of my head, but I was just like, I'm gonna just sit down. And so he comes up and he like comes up behind me and I like look up. Well, so no, so, okay. So before I look up, he says, hey. And then I look up and he goes, whoa. <laughs> like straight up like, whoa. And then he's like, you're pretty, your eyes are so pretty. Are they real? And I'm like, no. <laughs> well, actually no, so I didn't say no. So what happened was he was like, are they real? And I like kind of looked back over to him and I'm just like, I wish. And then he like just started cracking up and he's just like, oh, so where, did, <laughs> so where did you get those lenses? And then we were just talking about the lenses for a minute and then we took the picture and he was like leaning on my shoulder. And I was just like, oh my God, Bam Bam. <laughs> but um, 
Even when I was getting up, he was just like, where did you get your lenses? They're, they're so pretty, I wanna get them. And I was just like, bam, bam. Bam, bam! Oh. So this is the second time Bam Bam has like shook me. The first time at the GOT7 concert um, in July, cause he like held my hand. And now, because he said my eyes were pretty, even though they're not real. But more importantly, he laughed at my joke. He laughed at my joke. He didn't have to laugh at my joke. And it made me feel really, really good. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was quite an event and I was just a dope. I should have held Bam Bam's hand during the photo op, but I'm a dummy. I should have said something to Jackson when I walked past him that third time, but I'm a dummy. Like, I just get really, really like, <gasps> and I was not prepared for Jackson looking at me like that at all because I am not pretty. So it's like, why would Jackson ever look at me like that? But, man. I was just, I, w I was so dead. I, it's, it's, yeah. If you have any questions about things that went on and anything in general, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I might do a Q and A, so yeah, just go ahead, leave questions, leave comments, and I will try to respond to stuff, but, yeah, I can't believe it. I got to see GOT7 yet again, and they are still coming for my soul. So, if you guys like this video, please like it. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, go ahead and subscribe. I'm out.